Let's take a few moments to explore the maximum area for three-sided enclosures. In this case, we'll be given 100 meters of rope to work with. Recall that the area of a four-sided rectangular enclosure could be maximized using a square. So in this case, that is a 25 meter by 25 meter square. However, in some situations, we don't need four sides to enclose the rectangle. For example, if we're at the beach and we're looking to rope in an area to swim, we don't need to rope off the side along the beach. So we would be left with two widths and one length to work with. So what should we do with that fourth side? We could start with a very narrow swimming area as we did in the four-sided case, but as we remember, that doesn't yield a very big area. Relating width to area, we can see that the width of 5 meters will yield only an area of 450 meters squared. Increasing our two widths to 15 meters each, we can see that we'll have 70 meters left of rope for our length, and our area to swim will increase to a total of 1,050 meters squared. Now many of you must be sitting back and thinking, why don't we go back to the square idea that we used for four-sided rectangular areas? Maybe if we took that extra side and we split it up amongst the three sides of our enclosure, we could get a larger rectangle and thus have the maximum area. So dividing 25 meters by the three sides left, we end up with 8.33 meters to add on to our two widths and our one length. So let's take a look and see what that does to our area. Multiplying 33.3 times 33.3 .3 or squaring 33.3, .3, we end up with a total area of 1,108.9 meters squared. Now while this is better than what we've seen so far, surprisingly it is not the maximum area for a three-sided enclosure. So let's go back to our square again, and let's take that extra side, 25 meters, and let's rearrange it slightly by taking the entire 25 meters and putting it across to the opposite length. What you'll see here is we get double the area of a four-sided enclosure with the same amount of rope. So we can see our relationship between width and area in this case is a width of 25 meters for an area of 1,250 meters squared. And our rule of thumb is to make a square and double the length to maximize the area of a three-sided enclosure. Let's look at a second example with 200 meters of rope this time. So since we only need three sides, we're essentially going to take that fourth side and we're going to add it to the length. So in this case, we have a width of 50 meters and a length of 100 meters total, giving us an area of 5,000 meters squared. 